with your piece, you will get two hanging aids. One is a picture of the piece before it's been colored with all the pieces numbered as to which one goes up first, second, third, and so on down the line. The other thing you will get is a template on heavy brown paper. Now, in the corner of this template, there will be the approximate height and width. This will give you an idea how you can space it out on your wall. You can either hang the template up if you're more visual or if you want to just do the measurements and figure out where the very end of each scene is from the top to the bottom. All right. It's very important when you're hanging your template, probably the most important thing, is for your template to be level at the top. Now, what I find the easiest, um, it's nice if you have two people, it helps. If you put a tape along the top of where your, your template is going to be, level. If that tape is level and it's long enough, then if you have tape on the edge, on each edge, like this, one person can hold on to one end and one person on to the other end. You can level it up with this tape, smooth it out, and push that tape down. And you're ready to start doing your hanging. Now, on this template, you will see a bunch of X's. Each one of these X's is where there is a piece. They are all labeled so you know what the pieces are. Now, take yourself a marking pen and at each hole you will very strongly and carefully right in the center of that piece because there has been a screw in it. You mark those holes. I have pre-marked these holes so those are pretty well set. Now, what I like to do is label each and every one of those marks so that when we start hanging pieces it makes it really simple. If you are more adventurous, you could just mark the holes, take the template down, put your screws in and start hanging by looking at your template and your picture. However, this is for us timid people. On, this, on a piece of tape, a roll of tape, we will mark the first pieces that we run into. Two smaller evergreens, and down here is we have two medium evergreens. Okay, now I am going to start rolling this up. Take the tape off here. Fold the tape back. You will want to keep your template because most of us at some time in our life will move. And if you take your template with you, you will have no problem taking your piece and rehanging it. Piece. And right here is my first mark. I like to do this on our wall because we've put up several pieces and if I don't do this I will never be able to tell for sure which is the right hole, which is the right mark. All right, we've got two of them. I'm just going to put a paper clip up here. down here. And then I'm going to put down the next two pieces that I'm going to run across. A single high peak. <clears throat>
and four oak and three evergreens. Okay, now I'm going to roll my template a little further and I'm going to mark these two spots. If I have a problem I can just look right there if I can find my tape. I think you can see by our wall why this is necessary when we're doing it in the shop. Probably not on your wall because you will have no marks and no holes except these marks. All right, now I'm going to do the next two pieces. And the large oak tree. and continue on down the way. And we're clear to the end. We have it all rolled up and safe. We're going to take the tape on the other end down. Fold it back. So that we're not taped to everything, including ourselves. And we're done with the template, but we do want to keep it. All right, the next thing we're going to do is put all the screws in. Wherever the holes are that we have the marks that we've labeled, we're going to put in the screws. Now your screws do not go quite all the way in, which I will show you why when we get to hanging pieces. You leave about between an eighth and a quarter of an inch sticking out. And we'll continue putting the screws in all the way to the end, which we've done for you. Now, the screws that we have used are sheetrock screws. They are the one inch sheetrock screws. You don't need a molly. We include these screws with the pieces. So they are all there ready for you to use. Now we're going to start hanging the pieces. For that, we need to look at our hanging order right here. Now the very first piece that we're going to need is the moon because this is the piece that is the closest to the wall. We have little pegs on the back so that we have dimension and this is the one with the shortest pegs which puts it closest to the wall. Okay, this is, we'll take off the label and we're going to hang our moon. There we go. Piece one. Now, we look at our hanging order, and the next thing we need is this big mountain on the left. You will notice, I will show you, that on the back of every piece, we put a felt foot. This foot keeps them from scratching the walls and messing up things. You can see these little green felt foot, feet. Okay, very carefully so that you don't ting or scratch any of the other, the other pieces. There is your first mountain. Now, looking at the hanging order, the next thing we need is our mountain on the right hand side. Very carefully hang this one. It will be overlapping. Now, your pieces are going to lock down. On the back of every piece is a notch. I can show you that with this moon. Here, show this. 
This is the notch right here. And if you lock down over that notch, nothing is going to disturb this piece. It's going to be there. This is the next piece that I have marked. So we'll take off that label and we'll hang the piece very carefully. It is locked down and we'll straighten it up a little bit. There we are. They're very user friendly. Almost every piece has one screw that it's balanced on. Our next piece goes over here. It's also a water piece. Take off the label. Very carefully hang the piece. And straighten it out. You can use your picture if you're unsure exactly how they go. Okay, this is to demonstrate the pegs. See how long these pegs are? These are the pegs that are going to be the furthest from the wall and the last things that we hang. So I'm going to put this up here so you can see the difference. See how, see how this gives you the dimension as you're going back in the scene like it's a live scene. We remember we have gone ahead and hung the whole scene for you so you know you didn't have to go through each and every piece. Now, you remember that when we had this piece, the pegs were longer? This is to show you the dimension. From the side like this, you can see the dimension. When you are looking at a scene in nature, you see one piece after another after another. They're all intertwined. Do not try to spread your pieces out because you'll lose that feel of this is the true scene. Now we have this dimension and we have the pieces. What I want to show you is we have to have these separate pieces or you don't get the real feel of a scene. That gives you the dimension, that gives you the overlap. The pieces are now a living scene. Now, you do not need a stud to hang any one of these pieces. We use a one inch sheetrock screw for every piece that we put up. You do not need to worry about a stud. You can put any piece anywhere on your wall. So, this is your piece. Sit back, enjoy it, relax, and let it soak into your soul.